I don't know what the name is. Oh, I'm... Hey, kid! Knock on the gate again. Good. I don't have to go through that again. Another visitor? Oh, you again. I'd like to ask you some questions. Look, I've had enough. I'm not going to stand here and indulge in idle chit-chat. Who are you? I'm... I'll probably go with the gas man, actually, maybe, because she didn't like census. Landlord, she'll probably recognize. She'll probably say she knows everyone who's a neighbor. It's a gas man. I'm with the gas company. I was sent to check your apartment for leaks. Didn't you come this morning? Uh... Yes, you did. You found nothing and you charged me a fortune. That must have been someone else. You're not fooling me. You're one of them, aren't you? One of them? Who is them? I told you all before, I am not leaving. The only way you can drag me out of here is as a corpse. Is as a corpse. Goodbye. Hmm. This place is filthy. Let's try again. I'd like hey, to see kid. Try. Knock on the gate again. Right, so we got to try someone else. I'm popular today. Oh, uh, you again. I'd like to add. Look, I'm not. Who are you? Uh, a neighbor. I live next door. Mm. You do? Which room? Uh, 4 E? No, you don't. You're not fooling me. One who is. I told you the only is as a good boss. Did I put the gas on? Trying to get rid of me, will they? Hey, kid. Knock on the door again. Let's go around this again. Mom? Uh, I'd like to. Look, I'm not. I'm here on behalf of the landlord. I was sent by your landlord. Oh, you were? Yep, he wanted me to ask you a few questions. Well, for your information, I don't have a landlord. I own this apartment. You're not fooling. One of who? One I told of them. the only is as okay. a They have no right. So all of those no hey, kid. Right. Go around this in circles. My. Tell her the truth. I have something to tell you. Oh? There's no delicate way to put this. You're dead. You're dead. Pardon me? Dead and buried. You're a ghost haunting a wasteland. You're unbalanced. Tell me what you want before I call the police. You're not in a building, lady. What are you talking about? We're on the ground. We're outside. You, sir, need glasses. Look at the door. It says D. Clear as day. Okay, D. I'd like to ask you some questions. Look, I'm not who. Are oh right, and all of these have already been done, haven't they? Uh, neighbor. I live next. You do. Uh, no, you. You're not one. Who? I told the only is as so a good they I don't even know what right. building this no. was. Boy, right. If I could touch I'd that like thing, to hasn't seen try. much use in a long time. Can't do anything with the bulldozer. This is filthy. Looks like a. Did I leave the gas on? And I can't bring her in. Hello out there. Joey, what are you doing in there? I need you to do something. Hmm. It better be good. Uh, never mind. They have no right. Let's no leave. Okay, right. so there's nothing else to do. She owned the apartment, though. So how's your new friend? Oh, just dandy. So she owned the apartment, but I don't know anything else about this apartment, so I can't look her up. And she was like something D. Um, I'm going to go, based on the idea that things yes. are connected, I'm going to ask him about it. Twice the money, <clears throat> come on in, sit down. See if they're connected. construction site because I can't see any other connection to these two people and I don't think that they'd be in the same game if they if there wasn't a connection do you know anything about the construction site on 53rd Street a construction site I'm afraid not there are so many of them around always have been really I hadn't noticed I don't blame you it happens so slowly buildings being torn down new buildings going up New York City is constantly evolving an eternal state of rebirth Quite unique in that respect, actually. Go back or forward 20 years and you won't recognize a thing. That's very... profound. Yes, I'm sorry. I tend to wax on a bit. Hmm, nothing else there. I think that's all for now. Alright, you have a good night now.
So I've not learned anything new. Let's... Because I don't think there's going to be connection between those and any of either of those two. It's Harriet Sherman's that's what we're leading to. That's then going to eventually lead me to something new, something else. Let's have a look at our notes. Is there anything? No, I don't see how those two things are linked. Hmm. And there's nothing I can, like... And I can't use the Polaroid, can I? Can I call anyone? No. I could try Seagram Reality. There's no entry. Busy. Busy. Better go over there in person. And I've not got anything new. Uh, so you're useful. I'm not carrying that. So I think if I go to come on, let's get out of here. I think if I go right to hack behind you. Uh, I think if I go to Sherman's, I think I I can't use Joey. If I go to Jambalaya. Maybe there's something there. So I've had to use him in both of these places. Let's try let's try Joey over here, shall we? If it's all the same, I'll wait for the kid here. I don't just float through. I gotta keep some sh okay, let's go through. There's nothing. Two music joints in one evening? I'm liking this case more and more. Yeah, I don't think there's anything interesting around for us to interact with. Well, like, no, it's just saying Dwayne, wasn't it? Hmm. Dwayne, 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 Dwayne. Let's just go. So there's nothing for Joey to do there. I don't think we can use Joey there here either. It's open. Mrs. Sherman? Hello again. You got more questions for me? Yes, I do. Well, hurry up and ask. I ain't getting any younger. So I don't think there's anything here, is there? They kicked you out of your own home? Oh! No big loss. The place was a dump. Plus, they wanted it so badly that they paid most of us a monthly stipend just to leave. Pretty generous, actually. I can almost forgive them for nearly robbing me. So they paid you money to leave? Yup. Like I said, it was a pretty generous deal. Building was about to be condemned anyway, so everyone was grateful for the offer. Well, everyone except for Mavis Wilcox. There we go. Name, Mavis Wilcox. Who is Mavis Wilcox? A lunatic is what she was. She lived down the hall from me, so I know how crazy she was. Why was she crazy? She refused to leave is why. Seagram was offering her a fortune, but still she refused. Hmm. Why did Mavis refuse to leave? She was a lunatic. I believe I already established this. A total shut-in. The prospect of leaving her little apartment terrified her. I'm old and feeble. If I could manage the move, she could have. Of course, it doesn't matter now. Uh oh. Did they ever get Mavis to leave? Oh, you could say that. Yes, you would definitely say that. She left all right. Left the entire world, in fact. Well... You mean she died? Yes. Someone broke in and choked her to death. Right in the apartment she loves so much. Okay. I'd call Two it chokings. ironic if it weren't so tragic. Don't think that's ironic. Did they ever find out who killed Mavis? No. Some street kid, most likely. Thought the building was empty and went in to steal whatever was left over. Didn't count on anyone being there. Bumped into Mavis, then had to kill her. Happens all the time. <laughs> Does it? How well did you know Mavis? 
Like I said, I live just down the hall from her, on the third floor. I didn't know her well, but she did get some mail just before they smashed the place up. I took it, just in case a relative or something came looking. But it's been six months, and nothing. Okay. Anything else you can tell me about Mavis? Just that she lived on the third floor with me. There's nothing else. Can you tell me anything else about your old building? Good riddance is what I say. Right. I lived on the third floor. Everyone on the street could see me. I like my new place much better. Hmm. Uh, ask about Mav Mavis's things. Do you still have Mavis's things? Yes, I do. Such as they are. There wasn't much, just that envelope on the counter. Could I look at it? You knew Mavis? Sort of, yes. Well, you might as well take a look at them. Nobody else has come looking. Ooh, stuff. Thanks. I think we'll say goodbye there. Goodbye, Mrs. Sherman. Don't mention it. Right, so now that we know that she's Mavis Wilcox, let's try going back to talk to her. Um, maybe that'll give us... Maybe we could now... I'm going in again. Hmm. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait here. Maybe I can now trick her a bit easier? Or talk to her e more easily? Hey, kid. Knock on the gate again. My... I'm popular today. Oh, you again. I'd like to ask you some questions. Look, I've had enough. I'm not going to stand here and indulge in idle chit-chat. Who are you? I live next door. You do? Which room? Uh, four e No, three E. No, you don't. You're not fooling me. One of who is- I told you the only is as a good fuck. Did I leave the gas? Give up. Oh wait, no, no, no. That you should try flowers next time. Oops. Could have to do that. It's a good bet that Mavis Wilcox is the ghost at the construction site, but I can't say for certain. Right. Okay. Now we've sorted that out. Now I'm I going in again. Now, I, th yeah, now yeah. I think we can talk to her. I just figured it out in my head and hadn't made the connection in game. Always a frustration in puzzle games. Hey, kid. But Knock on the gate again. That you have to explain the thought process like that. I'm popular today. Oh. Uh, I'd like to have Look, I'm not who are I live next door. You do? Uh no, no, you do no not we know she's three. I told e, the old kids as a good fuck. We know she's three E. We know that it would be best Hello Joey, what are you I need hmm. it better No, never mind. Why would I need her to do it there unless I'm trying to avoid no, just go through. I mean maybe I should try that. I'm back. You were gone. Ah. <laughs> uh, let's head home. But oh of course. So this must be a very fairly recent death. So she might actually still be in here. Maybe this will come. There isn't a listing. Dead people, you just the. Maybe in here? We've already looked. We don't. Today's. It's tabloid. Unless maybe I meant. Come on, let's get. Right. Maybe I meant to ask. Oh, yeah, let's go back to the reporter. Maybe he knows something about her. Hmm. Yes. I'm becoming Don Rap popular. Come in, have a seat. Did you know Mavis Wilcox? Miss Wilcox? Yes, I remember her. Lived uptown a ways before she died. How did you know her? I wanted to write a piece about her, so I met her for a spell. Interesting woman. How did you know her? I'm looking into her death. I see. So what can you tell me about Mavis? I get the impression she didn't get out much. 
That's an understatement. I got in touch with her through a colleague who was covering that demolition. I wondered what made a woman like that tick, so I made an appointment to meet with her. What was she like? A very gracious woman. Brought me in, made me a cup of tea, showed me pictures of a family. All in all, it was a pleasant way to spend an afternoon. What happened to her? Killed, so they say. Was found choked to death in her own apartment. You mean like Any Isaac thoughts Brown? on who did it? Well, there were rumors that the labor union decided to take matters into their own hands, as it were. But I doubt that. The police ruled it was some squatter or drifter or something, and left it at that. And what do you think? Me? I have no theory. Two people you've written about both end up being killed in the same way. Why did you want to write about her? I found her fascinating. She was asked to leave. She was begged to leave. She was even offered lots of money to leave. But she kept refusing. She was too scared. I had to know why. And what did you discover? That, Miss Blackwell, is the eternal question. I've spoken to hundreds of people over the years. Most of them were odder than Mavis. It's impossible to decipher the whys and the hows. As time went on, I've contented myself just with the what's. Anything else you can tell me about Mavis? I'm afraid I've told you everything. Construction site. So, you don't know anything about that construction site? No, I'm afraid not. Mr. Mitchell, I need to know what happened. Classic Brown again. Listen, I don't like this. I don't feel comfortable talking about people without their consent. I won't say any more about Isaac, or his sister. Sister? Sister? Uh, please, I'm not gonna say any more. Ooh, right. Who was Isaac's sister? I told you, not another word. Ooh, to Mr. Sharp, then. So tell me about yourself, Mr. Mitchell. I beg your pardon? Tell me about yourself. Yes, I heard you. I hope you didn't come here simply to interview me. I'm afraid I'd make a poor interview subject. Well, let's go. Ooh, article about Mavis. I'd like to read your piece about Mavis. I'm afraid I no longer have it. Do you know what issue it was in? I'd like to look it up. I never published it. I was going to, but then Mavis died and it just seemed wrong somehow. I don't even have the rough copies anymore. I'm sorry. Two people he interviews end up being killed in the same way, and the articles that he's written about them aren't published. Warning sirens. Warning sirens. Something is... I think that's all He's the now. connection. Alright. You have a good night now. And that's what the game is setting up. Admittedly, in real life, you wouldn't... You'd probably have loads of other little things that maybe they've met. Maybe maybe she'd gone to Johnny Ivory's at some point. But he, he's a major thing in this. But we're going to go to Johnny Ivory's anyway, because we're going to have to ask about the sister. Who I assume was the singer. There's not much in here. Just a photograph and a letter. I probably should have opened this before. Um, Mrs. Wil 18th of October 1972, Mrs. Wilcox, thank you for agreeing to speak with me the other day. As promised, I'm returning the photograph you lent That's me. That's her. That's the ghost at the construction site. So our ghost's name is Mavis Wilcox. I'd bet the farm on it. Can I read, th can I read the letter, thank you, all the way through? Uh, oh, I am returning the photograph you lent me. All the best. Jay Mitchell, the New Yorker, New York, New York. And this is the picture. So that must be Mavis. This kid doesn't look too happy to be with Mavis. He's wearing a Columbia University sweatshirt. Mavis, yep. That's her. Definitely the lady at the site. Cecil? What? I need to speak to you about Isaac's sister. <coughs> you Ooh. that's it! You've crossed the line, sister. It was fun for a while, but now it's time for you to leave. Ooh, now you've done it. Hmm. Do we, no, I don't think we're going to be contri contrite. I think we're going to be contemptuous. Seems a bit more kind of Lauren. What are you going to do, throw me out? Oh, is that a challenge? Don't tempt me, lady. Leave. You want me to leave? I'll leave. You really have a way with the fellas, kid. I don't sweat it. His bark is worse than his bite. 